Hello there. We start right here in the UK, where the Chancellor, the Finance Minister, Rishi Sunak, delivered his budget on Wednesday. Some of the most striking measures affecting business were aimed at retail, hospitality and leisure. They're among the sectors hit hardest by the pandemic. Shops, pubs and gyms in England will be among businesses to get a 50% cut in their business rates. And the way alcohol is taxed will be simplified. Some drinks will be taxed more, but duty on draft beers will be reduced by 5%. Uh, joining me now is Steve Alton, who is Chief Executive of the British Institute of Innkeeping. Um, Steve, what did you make of those measures? Will they do much to help your sector? Yeah, good morning, Ben. Look, our members who run pubs across the whole of the UK really welcomed the, the Chancellor's recognition, not just of the economic value of pubs, but the social value that they generate within their communities. So a couple of the areas that you spoke about, so that, that cut to business rates next year, which is one of the largest costs that our members have to deal with, is hugely welcome and allows them to plan their recovery. And that simplification of, of overall duty, but specifically for, uh, for draft products, for beer served in pubs, uh, and particularly supporting those local brewers as well, where the, the pub really is, is the place that they, they feature their beers and present something very special and very different to, to the great pub experience. So overall, hugely welcome, but particularly important in terms of the timing, because right now that they're facing probably the most difficult trading periods that they've ever faced, um, even through some of the pandemic stages, uh, with a, a, a huge cocktail of increased costs, yeah. trading is down, uh, and it's looking pretty tough. So it was it was welcome news, but there's a lot more to be done. Mm -hmm. um, the Chancellor's uh, estimate was that the, the, the cut in duty on draft beer would bring the price of a pint down by three pence. Uh, a pub chain recently said, in fact, this week, that uh, because of higher wages, they have to put the price of a pint up by 30 pence. Now, I'm no accountant, but to me, that means a net increase for people going to the pub who have not seen wage rises and whose other bills uh, are also uh, rapidly rising. Absolutely. Look, pubs have got very, very difficult choices ahead. We've got significant costs, food and drinks going up over 10%. We've got wage inflation coming through as well. Uh, our operators already have been increasing basic wages to try and address the staffing issue that we're hitting right now within pubs. Uh, as you know, locally, if you, if you go around local pubs, they are really struggling for staff. They are closing certain days of the week. They are limiting their trading period. And right now, they need every opportunity to trade. So they've got this huge um, amount of costs that are hitting them. Utility costs are going up. Um, and they fear that they're going to have to pass some of this onto the consumer. But equally, you know, they're very conscious their customers are also facing these increased inf inflationary costs across their energy bills and their general day-to-day -day expenses. So they are very concerned, but they're going to do all they possibly can to try and contain that rise. But as you said, if you look at the sums, they don't quite stack up, do they? Where the operational costs of these pubs have gone, you know, obviously to very, very high levels. Uh, so it's a very welcome uh, cutting duty and, and it's great that at long last, you know, Again, draft products in pubs, specifically in pubs, um, has been recognised as an important thing for the Chancellor to focus on. So we're hopeful that this is the start of something in terms of supporting pubs on a long-term basis. Mm. Just briefly, Steve, uh, are pubs looking at a, a sort of a, a better year ahead? Um, as there, there are there fewer concerns about uh, pubs going under? Well, I think right now we are looking at a really difficult uh, trading period through the winter. There is no doubt. St the staffing issues, the supply chain issues we've spoken about. And you have to remember that these guys have been closed for a significant period of the last couple of years. And many have got debts well over £50,000 per pub. And that's after using all of their reserves and their personal savings to get themselves through. So they're going to have to trade better than they were in 2019, really just to stand still and recover their businesses paying back that debt. So th these, these uh, announcements yesterday are very, very welcome, but hopefully the start of the longer term changes we need. So business rates is something great. We've got one year um, as at that 50% level, but we lo need long term reform. And the lower level of VAT really needs to be continued on a long-term basis to support trading of, of these pubs. As, as going back to the Chancellor's recognised, they present something very, very unique in our society in the communities in which they serve, and they deserve that support. So it's going to be incredibly tough, and we are very nervous right now that it's a long way to get them all the way through to, to that Easter of next year where okay. they can start to rebuild their businesses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Steve Olson, thank you very much. Thank you.